Take care of that now. YouTube, what's going on? Chance. It's your boy Nick of All Trades, man. Uh, coming at you with a video real quick. Um, right. You know, my last video, you see me probably riding the streets in New York, uh, telling y'all about what happened with my last company. Yeah. But I'm here now in a whole nother truck in a Kenworth, and there goes the CEO slash my brother, you know. And, um, we finna make this thing work, so um, he got me in the Kenworth, and this is the truck I'll be rolling with. Got a Kenworth, you know, I like it, I love it. Um, got my trailer, it's gonna be coming with me everywhere, so I'll never have to drop it anywhere. Um, and right now I'm doing my first load already and I am in Dallas, Texas at this bakery place and I did my first alley dot by myself but um you know I gotta ask YouTube and ask experience drivers like I see that it's kind of off a little bit but I wonder where that stopped them from loading me up we're gonna find out um it's a lot to remember, rookies. You know, if you are fortunate enough to have somebody trust you with their vehicle or whatnot to this extent, and you know, you've been out here just a little bit, you know, learning how to drive, and you know, it's gonna be all right. But you just gotta remember your steps and everything. Like, man, I tell you, I almost felt like I forgot everything coming off the trailer truck it's rough but you know i've been getting it together you know we had to go pick the trailer up at another lot different from where the um, truck was at and you know i had to tell them about a tire and all that that's looking kind of dry rotted i had to tell them about these things that go on the glads the little black things that go inside of there and whatnot somebody tell me what they call rubber rubber some type of rubber whatnot um I did have trouble the first time pulling my trailer into my my fifth wheel into the uh, what you call it. Um, I was informed that I have to I can raise the trailer up some more so I won't get caught up like that or whatnot. Um, getting taught about these tandems too in the back on how to shift them and all that stuff. You know, there's a little button right there that you can press to release the tandems and all that stuff. So. I'm not gonna lie, this was some stuff that wasn't really taught to me by Covenant or the trainer at Covenant, you know? So, YouTube, I'm going at this all by myself. First stop is Georgia, second stop is Florida. I'm coming home. Uh, I can stay home for a couple of days if I want to, but I really wanna go handle what I gotta handle. See the wife and kids. Uh, I am a uh, mobile barber too, so if y'all catch me out here, you can catch you cut by me, so I got some people to service and i'm getting back on this road to go get this money so you know this is just a little quick video man i am really excited and i'm also blessed and appreciative to have all my family members come together like they did to get me to where i need to get to you know i'm not gonna let y'all down i'm gonna do what i have to do there are still a couple things in the truck that i need to get like a cb i gotta get a, a mcnally uh, GPS because I am working the one off of my phone but I got a trucker's um I got a trucker's one trucker's GPS sorry I'm looking in this warehouse to see if they're gonna be straight so I'm, I thought they was getting ready to open up real quick but I guess not um I'm just carrying some like some flour or something I got like 33,000 pounds of that doing doing drive dry routes, dry vans or whatnot. So, um, I don't know if I'm supposed to unhook. I hope I'm not blocking their view. I think somebody just opened up. So let me see if I'm straight real quick. Boss man, I'm good. This, is this good enough or do I gotta do some more? All right. All right, so I was informed that that was good enough. So, hey, I feel good, man. Yo, rookies, don't be scared to do this. Don't be scared to get out there, man. 
you know, we got to take control of our own destiny or whatnot. And that's what I'm doing, you know. So I hope to get more information. I hope to get suggestions on what I could do. You know, I'm all about constructive criticism, you know, because I just want to be right. I don't want to have no wrongs. Um, I'm about to get ready to load up 30,000 pounds worth of this flour or whatever this is. So I don't think I'll be close to the exceeding weight limit or whatnot. So that's a good thing. But um, should I go to a weigh station? Let me know, y'all. Um, I don't know. I gotta go get some. Um, also, I have to go get a couple of log books right now because I don't have the electronic log book. So I gotta keep up with that. So that's something else I was working on, but hopefully I'll get that right. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, I'm happy. Um, I'm working with family, you know. We're gonna try to do this together. We ain't gonna try, we all gonna do this together. And everything's gonna be all right. So, like I said, if y'all got any suggestions for me or whatnot, let me know. If there's anything I can help y'all out with, I'll definitely let you know. All y'all gotta do is just leave a comment in the comment section. Um, also, you know, I am trying to build this YouTube channel too, off of trucking and doing all types of various other stuff, but mainly trucking. But if you got a channel too, you know, uh, definitely hit that subscribe button. You just let me know. Or even if you don't let me know and I see that you subscribe to me, I know who to subscribe to basically, you know. Cause I think everybody out here, we all can come out here and, and shoot, do what we want to do and get the support for doing that. So this is your boy, Nick of all trades, man. I'm a holler at y'all. I finally get to get to Florida too, so it's all good. So peace out, man. Holla.